it's been a long and arduous journey. Not sure of the direction. Season's gone to mess. It's been a tough ride. My sidekick, my buddy in command, Big Fish, has let me down again. Now I gotta face the weather alone. No sign of humanity. It's rough out here. We got one last fight and by my guerrilla tactics. We will fight to the last death. <sighs> Hey, what's up? Shuckle King here, coach of your Milwaukee Suspects, stepping in for uh, Steve for this final week. Uh, not in the playoff hunt, but Chase definitely is. Uh, so this week we got our boy, Choice Banded Dracovich, going to destroy lives. We got expert Velt Rabambi to set up webs and hit his team pretty hard otherwise. We got special defensive Claydol would teleport to gain his momentum into our breakers. We got Galarian, Darmanitan, Gorilla Tactish, Choice Scarf, you know how it works. Just kill everything. Hit him on top. Uh, Rocky him with physical defensive to remove any hazards that he might set up uh, with Rapid Spin and then Triple Axel to hit the uh, Rune Regus. And Choice Scarf, Roserade, because we don't have enough speed on this team with Sticky Webs. So, no, nah, it should definitely catch him off guard. It handles the uh, Rillaboom well enough. So we got Rillaboom, Urshifu. Um, no Grim Snarl, Hitmonlee, Salazzle, Alolan Raichu, No Rorigus, and Weezing. So he might be able to set up Toxic Spikes with this team, um, which I do have a Rose Rate to absorb them, which is definitely clutch. Did not bring any of the uh, Crappy Bonds, Kadabra, Karkul, or Lickitung. Probably made sense that he brought um, the Mons that he did. Um, let's look at this matchup. Rabami just looks absolutely amazing. His removal is Hitmonlee. So I'm definitely okay with that. Claydol and uh, Hitmontoth can both deal with it. So yeah, we're gonna just lead with the uh, the Weber and hopefully we can uh, destroy some lives here. Uh, let's see, we got Rabambi is the lead. Um, I had a expert belt to, uh, to do a little bit more damage to the, uh, the wheezing in the Hitmonlee. So Moonblast kills Hitmonlee with Expert Belt. The Flow Master, Urshifu. Okay. Um, Scarf definitely seems like a possibility here. He could also expect them Focus Ash. So like Scarf, the Scarf, uh, let's see. Let's see, Choice Scarf, um, Urshifu strikes. If he gets three hits, oh, that's a... Oh, he does crit every time, that's right. Um, three heads would kill me. So I'm going to go into my Hitmon top um, and try to get some uh, Rocky Helmet recoil on his Urshifu. Maybe he U-turns, um, but if he U-turns, then I will find out a little bit about his set. Those Surging Trikes is still going to do a ton to me. Um, so we get that Intimidate off. Should not be doing nearly as much damage unless he goes for Surging Strikes, which he does. Um, goes for three heads. Unless he's Protective Pads, um, this could be doing a lot to him. So crit. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is in this game. Ah, uh, you're kidding me? You got another crit? Ah, uh, well, it is what it is in this game. Ah, uh, don't tell me you got a third crit. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, but... So that did 90 damage. So each hit is doing about 30 damage. Um, so at this point, I could see... So I would kill him off, which I think I would definitely take that exchange. Um, it looks like it's Choice Scarf Urshifu. It does not look like it's Choice Banded. His answers would be Rillaboom, Hitmonlee, Salazzle. Could be the Weezing. I think Triple Axel seems like a uh, pretty fine move to hit the Weezing. So let's go for that. He's going to just go for Surging Strikes again. Probably taking me out, but I will take him out in exchange. And I'm fine with that because like the Rillaboom is still there. And definitely a threat, but I do have a Roserade to Revenge Kill. I do live 
Will he die to this next hit? He might have enough uh, EVs to live with like one or two HP. Uh, another crit. That's just unfortunate. Um, does he die here or does he barely live? Okay, he barely lives. Okay, so. I'm gonna go into the Rosa Raid and just revenge kill with, uh, um, I suppose a, uh, Giga Drain team's pretty nice, um, because I won't miss and I'll recover a tiny bit of HP. He is gonna switch out, so if I can get Stealth Rocks up, that would be awesome. Goes into the Pancake, the Alolan Raichu. Okay, I should take at least some damage here. Um, Sludge Bomb would have done a little bit more. Oh, that's a two-hit KO, if I ever saw one, because that's a crit. Definitely unfortunate for him. Let's see if uh, Roserade to uh, Raichu, Alola. That's a, well, I'm not gonna be able to kill. But a Giga Drain crit. That's like very bulky then. Um, it's actually like a Salt Vest. So Psy Shock would definitely knock me out. So I'm gonna go into Claydol here. Um, Really can't touch me outside of Surf, and uh, I don't think there's any way this Raichu is going to be clicking Surf. He's going to switch out and go into the Urshifu, probably, uh, which would be a great play, and he does make it. So nice. Um, let's see. Definitely problematic here. Uh, let's check. I am a natural cure, so I'm not a poison point. So this will knock me out. Uh, it'll definitely knock me out. Do I go into Roserade here on the uh, Urshifu? Um, I do take it, but I don't take two. So I think I'm forced to stay in and sack off this uh, Claydol. That's definitely unfortunate. And Surging Strikes comes off, will definitely kill. 99, so that did 68 damage. So I suppose I can figure out what type of spread this is. Um, choice Scarf, I think I was saying it was Choice Scarf. Um, 69 damage, it looks like it's Adamant Choice Scarf. It could be Jolly Choice Scarf as well. Um, Dragovish seems like a pretty decent answer. Um, because I'm immune to his, uh, or not immune, but I'm not going to be taking much damage from his Surging Strikes. And then I will kill with the uh, Vicious Ren in return, or I could Leech Life, predicting the, uh, what would come out. Either the uh, Weezing or the Rillaboom comes out here. So if the Rillaboom comes out, um, level 50 with my... Dracovish. Leech Life does a lot of damage. Um, so I think I'm fine with going for that play. I don't think he's going to go into the Weezing because um, Bandit would just 2-hit KO. The Rev. Who is this? Rillaboom. Okay, great. Uh, but I imagine it's going to be a bulkier physical defensive spread of some sort. Let's see. Leech Life comes out. That does 45%. That's actually a very bulky spread then. Um, yeah, so that looks like max, max physical defensive. Um, so he's not going to be doing a lot of damage to me in return. Um, Impish. Roserade also seems like a pretty safe switch in. Um, it also would be nice to get in my uh, my Rabambi. But I think my Rose Rate's fine because if he U turns here and goes into Urshifu, I should be able to live and then kill um, in return. 107, so that's 46 damage to the Rose Rate from the Rillaboom. 46 damage. Looks like it's no attack, which I would expect. The Flow Master comes out. Level 50. Um, close combat actually could knock me out. Oh no, that's Choice Scarf. He's not going to be knocking me out. I, um, it seems pretty safe to go for... Hmm. Uh, Giga Drain seems fine uh, because um, it is a terrain boosted. 
Let's see, Ice Punch, that'll probably kill. Yep, it does. Yes, Urshifu is definitely pretty annoying this game. Uh, can my Verbombi come in and set up a, uh, a web? I don't think so. Um, Ice Punch does could to a KO. So it seems, uh, especially with uh, Grassy Terrain Recovery, that seems pretty fine for me to just go for a, uh, a sticky web here. And then there's Choice Scarf Urshifu. It'll still be annoying, but at least I'll be able to add speed with some things. So yeah, let's get the uh, sticky webs up now. Um, it could be Grassy Seed uh, Hitmonlee, and Hitmonlee could have Poison Jab. Um, so that's definitely something of note. Um, uh, Rabambi to a Hitmonlee. Level 50. Poison Jab. Poison Jab definitely kills, so I'm not too surprised about that. I would kill with the Moonblast, so it's definitely a risky play for him to make. Weezing could also be a pretty safe play, but he's gonna stay and go for Choice Scarf Ice Punch. Um, 142 to 69 is 73 damage. So I should be living this following hit. I do, and I will kill in return. Um, and I'm fine with going for a Moonblast here. He really doesn't have an answer to it. He'll probably sack off the Urshifu. But if I can keep webs up, that seems like a pretty, pretty nice bet right now. And I knew I would live that hit. Grassy Glide might be able to knock me out, which would be a little unfortunate. But, yep, this uh, Urshifu is dead, thank goodness, because that did a lot of damage to my team, for sure. Um, in fact, is that the only Mon that I've been able to get rid of so far? Um, the uh, Grassy Train is out, which is nice, so the uh, Hitmonlee can't come in. Um, unless if it's Fake Out. Fake Out would definitely knock me out from this range. But I would doubt that it's Bad Set Rillaboom. Um, it looks like it's no attack. Rillaboom with uh, no attack. I mean, Grassy, uh, grassy Terrain is out, so even if it's not attack, I'm sure that uh, kills me at 18 HP. Grassy, sli grassy Glide, level 50. Oh yeah, that does way too much damage to me. So let's go into... Oh, we don't have many options. Um, does Darmanitan take two? Our Manitan takes two hits, so yeah, let's go into that. The downside there is uh, Hitmonlee Mach Punch definitely looks a lot more threatening because I am taking a chip, and I know I could live one Mach Punch from the uh, Hitmonlee. The Grassy Glide comes out, and that is not going to a KO, which is great. Uh, let's see what his answer is for... Uh, for Choice Scarf... Uh, Ice Skull Crash? It looks like it doesn't exist. Um, and I imagine this takes it out. Yeah, it does 104% min. I don't think he has a switch in. So yeah, we're gonna go for the uh, that big Ice Skull Crash and just get a kill. I'm definitely okay with that. Um, Boots, uh, Salazzle could definitely be a threat. Um, he is gonna save this, which is probably a good idea because it would 2 a KO my, uh, my Darmanitan in the future. I do miss, unfortunately. Um, so that kind of stinks. Um, and this is probably going to Will-O-Wisp. Um, Rabombi with Rillaboom. Uh, or Weezing. It could also be Flamethrower, and that would also be pretty problematic as well. Um, I could also flinch with my Dormanitan, so that kind of seems nice. I'm sure he was just trying to sack this off. There is a chance he lives two hits, um, but I think I almost have to go for the flinch here. I would also be getting a little more grassy, uh, grassy terrain recovery, which which might be nice and might actually put me in range of living a uh, oh that is a crit and living a mock punch from Hitmonlee. Uh, but he is going to flamethrower. I imagine that's going to take me out or do a lot of damage. Otherwise, it's not going to take me out, which is great. So it was definitely to play to not go into uh, to not go into my Rabambi there because he would have killed me for sure. Um, Ice Skull Crash 
comes out. Um, I don't really live any hit in particular, especially because I figure it's going to be a boots, um, boots salazzle to avoid the, uh, the sticky webs. So I think I'm in definitely not in a favorable position for sure. Um, and I don't think Dracovish can clutch it out at this point because Dracovish has been a, been a letdown this season for sure. But uh, it won't be able to kill the uh, kill the uh, Rillaboom. I could, uh, I, I might be forced to go for a, uh, a Leech Life like super aggressively and that might be my only chance if I'm able to, uh, to KO it. The K comes out, and is this a... Uh, oh, it is going to get hit by webs. So, definitely a chance at this point. Um, they're manned 10 to... Salazzle. Uh, level 50. The thing is, I need Dracovish healthy to take on the... The Rillaboom. So I have to go for the Ice School Crash here. It could also be Scarf, um, but he's not Scarf. Oh, if he was Scarf, I still would have speed regardless. So I got to get a flinch here. Because I can't get Chip on my... Uh... Ooh, Scale Shot. I like it. Is two hits? Two hits, I might live. Ah, uh, okay. He's going hit, to get hit, hit by uh, Sticky Webs. He's going to be at... Uh... Plus one speed. And life warp. Okay. That's a pretty cool set. Um, Dracovish. So what does he have left? The Hitmonlee is still a thing. Um, Rabambi outspeeds, but the thing is, uh, does my Rillaboom should knock me out with two grassy glides. Let's double check. Um, level 50, Grassy Glide does 43 to 51%. Um, so there's a chance I do live too. Um, so I think that's a risk I'm willing to take because I should outspeed this, this Salazzle. I'll get a little bit of HP. I might be at a range of Mach Punch or a Fake Out from the Hitmonlee. Um, but let's go for... We'll go for a Psychic. I'll be able to kill this Salazzle. Um, the Rillaboom, I think, has to come out and go for Grassy Glide. Because that will be able to kill me. Yeah, Grassy Glide does, like... 30% min to Rabami. Rabami is definitely not that bulky. Um, you could U-turn here. And go into him only. Um, but I think I'm okay with Dracovish being in. Actually, he can U-turn, because I would kill with uh, Bug Buzz, so he has to uh, Grassy Glide here. Um, I think I might be relying on having to uh, the crit with the uh, Leech Life here. But let's see what he goes for. He goes for gra Grassy Glide, which I think he had to make that play. I do live too, which is pretty nice. I actually live a little bit more comfortably than I thought I would. Um, so he has the Rillaboom left, he has the Hitmonlee left, and he has the uh, Raichu left that will get hit by the by the webs. Um, I have to stay in in a Leech Life here. Because um, otherwise I would lose to... Hmm, does Hitmonlee take two hits? Let's see, Dracovish is banded, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Leech Life is not going to be doing enough. So this this is basically a coin flip. Um, I'm gonna make the uh, leech. Hmm. I could live too. I might be able to crit later on. Um, Psychic Fangs is fine. I think I'm gonna go for the leech life play. He probably makes the plan to hit Monley. Okay, he does not. Okay. I think I have a decent chance here. The thing is, um, him on Lee will probably have unburden and should outspeed my Rabambi anyway. So it might not even make a difference. Ooh, I like this. So he's going to recover and be able to take one more hit, actually. Um, going to be doing a decent amount of chip to my Dracovish. I like this defensive uh, Rillaboom set for sure. Um, but I would be 2 KOing. So I think I might make the play into uh, Rabombi here. 
um, and see if he's a. Uh, because I don't think he's gonna want to take another hit with the real boom with leech life. Um, and I guess I'll find out if it's grassy seed uh, hit monthly or not. If it's not, then I think I probably knock it out. So that seems uh, pretty clutch. Let's see what he goes for. He does go for grassy glide. Okay. So that's definitely game. I had, I think I had to make that play. Um, I was gonna get way too weakened, and Hitmonlee could have just easily came in there. I'm surprised he didn't make that play, but I think we lose this game now because Hitmonlee is gonna take hits pretty comfortably, even though I'm banded. Um, I'm not doing that much damage. Uh, and against Rillaboom, uh, Psychic Fangs could flinch. He could also miss a, miss a Leech Seed. Um, so I'm going to go for Leech Lives and just try to recover as much HP as possible. I kill the uh, Raichu. Um, a crit would be nice. Maybe if he misses, a Leech Seed would be great. Maybe even if Grassy, uh, Grassy Train goes out, that would be great. But it looks like we're going to be taking a loss. Probably a 2-0, maybe a 3-0 if he preserves it. Um, he might preserve it for uh, if he needs Differential, depending on what his circumstances uh, with playoffs and all that. But... It looks like Chase will probably be making playoffs after getting this win, so congrats to him. He definitely played really well with it. Was barely able to live with that uh, the Hitmonlee uh, Rocky Helmet hit. So he definitely EV'd his, uh, his Rillaboom to live six Rocky Helmet hits, which made a lot of sense. Um, and then at that point, I really didn't have a lot of answers for it. I had the Rose Ray, but he was able to make a good double switch and basically was able to win the game pretty early on, like turn three or four. Because I was not able to get sticky webs up as quickly as I wanted to this game. Does he go into Raichu? Okay. Well, he, he, he uh, gives one anyway. Um, but it shouldn't matter. The uh, Hitmonlee will come in and clean up. Maybe he, get, he gets a couple, gets a one more kill with the Hitmonlee. You definitely take uh, take the kills where you can get them. Uh, I am pretty healthy. So I suppose if he's like high jump kick Hitmonlee and he misses a high jump kick, I might be not bad at position. He could even knock off if he like is high jump kick and doesn't want to miss, and then that would also be not that bad for me either because I can go for Psychic Fangs or Vicious Wrens. Um, but he should have this game one. I imagine it's a uh, Grassy Seed. Um, it's not. Or the, the train is already up, but I'm not going to be doing nearly as much damage. He is going to knock off. That's interesting. Oh, he's Boots. That's a pretty cool set. Um, I'll recover some HP here. He should close combat and win the game. Cover a little bit of HP. He's probably going to go for the uh, close combat. He also has a... Also has, what you might call it, um, recovery here. So I, I'll probably make it a 1-0. A, a because I, I imagine Psychic Fangs kills. And though I'm not banded, so maybe it doesn't kill. I don't think this close combat kills. It does not. Great. But it's not going to matter because the real Boom can come in and go for the uh, Grassy Glide. So let's see. Is Dragovish a disappointment or is he going to get a kill? Oh, look at that. Dragovish maybe not, maybe isn't a disappointment that I thought he was, but gets one kill, but the real boom's going to come out and finish it off. So good game to chase uh, because a uh, grassy uh, train is out, and I don't think even a, um, a leech life would kill anyway if a grassy train ended, like the turn before or something, but he just put himself in the safe position to win that game. So that's a 1-0, solid win for him. Uh, let's finish this off in style. Win. By the Dracovish and lose by the Dracovish. Been a disappointment for Manitan's not that happy about his performance, but now we know the Vish is dead. Rightfully so. Lost the Seabed. He probably makes playoffs, so congrats to him. And uh, anyway, cue the uh, outro music, which is probably also the intro music. our best this season but we will never lose the war Milwaukee Sauce Bucks will be back and better than ever though uh Embiid is better than Giannis <laughs>